Ben Carson insists all the stories he tells about his background are real. Reporters who dug into his biography say they cannot confirm some of the details. This morning, one scientist says that the way people remember events from long ago could explain that difference. Jan Crawford is in Washington to show us how that may apply to Ben Carson. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So Carson's really been on the defensive for the past five days over questions about some of his memories from 50 years ago. And now he's been trying to prove that those events are true. I would much rather lose an election than to lie. Last night, Ben Carson was defiant, but his Republican opponents were piling on. This is the only election in history where you're better off if you stab somebody. He should answer the questions forthrightly and directly. The questions focus on key parts of Carson's life, from his childhood to college. In his autobiography, he wrote that as a 14-year-old, he tried to stab a friend. A CNN report last week found no evidence the incident occurred. But in a 1997 interview with Parade magazine, Carson's mother said, oh, that really happened. And in a radio interview on Monday, a former colleague from Johns Hopkins said Carson shared the same story with him in 1987. It was a self-deprecating story. It wasn't a story to aggrandize him. Carson credits that incident with turning around his life, leading to opportunities which he said included a scholarship offer to West Point. Media reports question whether the military academy even offers scholarships. Carson has provided corroboration for part of his story, West Point recruiting material that mentions scholarships, and PolitiFact rates his claim mostly true. What's unique is that most of the scrutiny is focused on how people remember events from 50 years ago, something neuroscientist Joel Voss says is almost impossible to prove. If we need to evaluate someone's ability to be a political leader, we should probably focus more on their history and abilities as a political leader and less on their self-reported memories from their early childhoods. Now, over the weekend, the Wall Street Journal was questioning one of Carson's anecdotes about a time he said he was pranked at Yale. But last night, BuzzFeed backed Carson's account. It found a student there at the time who said it happened. Scientists say that is just another example of how people don't always remember the same things. Gail. All right. Thank you, Jan. CBS News will bring you a Democratic presidential debate this weekend, moderated by John Dickerson. You can watch it Saturday night at 9, 8 central, right here on CBS.